Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So, yeah, lots happened since the last time I recorded, even though it's really a day ago. Um, I took today off work, and this afternoon I recorded an episode, but as I was starting the first mission, just as I launched into it, um, I got called away, had to go do something. When I came back, I went to record the rest of the episode, and I guess something happened when I hit record, and it never recorded. Uh, so I lost two missions, um, and unfortunately the second one was really, really important. So the first mission went well. It was a five skull priority mission, um, on this planet here. We had moved over to Marshall and I'll show you where we are on the map here. Um, because Wolf had like 34% of the planet at the time and this was still 100% Wolf. So I moved over here in the afternoon and I thought, well, we would, we'll just make it 100% Falcon, trying to contribute a little bit to the Jade Falcon's cause. I can't do as much as everybody else is doing. You can see they're moving down here and stuff, right? Um, so, cause I only play a couple of missions, like missions a day for the episode. So I was trying to help out as much as I could. And I basically moved the planet back to 100% uh, Jade Falcon. Now, I don't know if it was just my effort or other people that were playing at the time moved it back to 100%. But I did contribute. So, and we we basically the the it was actually a five, it was a four skull mission. Uh, ended up being four vehicles, um, which we destroyed, and that was it. It was just a base capture while we were rescuing somebody. But it was four vehicles. We trashed them, and that was no problem. The second mission, I decided. Well, you know, we only had a few days left before the financial report. We run the second lance. Took a three and a half skull mission. And it was against Clan Wolf. I thought, well, this is good. It's just a, it's a, just a straight up battle. And we ended up fighting. Um, let's see, it was one, four, six mechs and two vehicles. Um, so let's see, there was a Kit Fox, there was Arctic Wolf, Storm Crow, which we ended up getting enough pieces for. So we do have an extra Storm Crow now, uh, Model E, I believe. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, there was a Hunchback, um, Kintaro. And I don't remember off the top of my head what the last guy was. Uh, anyway, and then there was two two vehicles which we wrecked. Um, however, the hunchback that we encountered was um, running four uh, large um, or heavy large uh, lasers for 90 damage a pop. And one of them took the head clean off of the Storm Crow Prime that... Um, Satori, our Lance Commander, was piloting, and she was killed. Um, so if we go to the mech bays right now, uh, I got the mechs restored. We didn't lose anything other than the head off the Storm Crow Prime. Um, we did pick up... Uh, where did we get the Orion parts from again? Oh, this was from the episode before, um, I believe. Um, but uh, we picked up enough uh, parts to pick up a Storm Crow. Um, yeah, so the painful thing is um, we're down a Lance Commander, basically. So as you can see, we lost the whole head. Um, let's just get this fixed up. Um, yeah, it was kind of a shock. And I was when I looked at the loadout on the Hunchback when we were approaching it to kill it, um, and I saw those four... Um, heavy lasers. I was like, how is this thing even running these? And basically it was only firing, it fired the one and a couple of, I think it had ER mediums or something on it, or medium pulse lasers or something. It fired the one, the very first shot it took, took the head off the mech. So it was really sad to see her go. I was hoping that she didn't die, but you know, the chance of surviving a headshot like that are pretty darn low. Um, but it is what it is. There's not much we can really do about it. So let's see. We have DNI compact re recon sensors. So let's put in, uh, let's put in the energy fire control system. Let's put in, uh, let's see here, armored cowl probably. We could go with. Well, I want to save this for any mechs that need recoil uh, reduction. So let's go with, yeah, might as well injury resist. And we don't have any sensors. We could go with this instead. Plus one injuries resist. Plus one initiative for Lance units. So let's go with that instead. This looks sweet. And we'll see if we can get some sensors coming up. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, 
it's real unfortunate that we lost her, but you know, it is what it is. I can't really change that now. Uh, so we did pick up this guy. Um, got a few things left over on it. Not much. A couple of ER smalls and stuff, which we can strip, uh, strip gear. Um, so there's that. Um, uh, and we loaded out, uh, both the Griffin and the Shadowhawk between episodes. I believe it was between episodes. Um, sorry, my arm is just really sore today. Uh, so the Griffin, we switched to basically what we had in the Shadowhawk, or the Strix, which was the three ER large lasers. And because we're only limited to like three missile, three uh, energy hard points, I put an LRM-20 in here with, L with LK ammo and just a bunch of cooling. Uh, it runs relatively cool overall. Um, it's relatively fast, plus we've got um, a light tag in it as well. So it's not a bad loadout, not a bad loadout. Oops, I want to go back. And then the Strix we changed. Uh, we wanted to make it a lot like the Nova E, which was the Ultra 20. And I think a couple other people had mentioned that making this a fast strike mech would be a good idea, um, possibly with the Ultra 20. And I think it was Fist of Dorn that mentioned that out um, on the comment section. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I pretty much did with this guy. A couple of ER medium lasers just for range combat um, and for extra punch. But this guy didn't have a lot of weight available, unfortunately. But we were able to get the Ultra 20 in and 15 turns of continuous fire. The one thing that was we were always suffering with the Nova was that, you know, I was like, oh, should I really use this continuously? We're going to only have 10 turns of, of shooting, so I should have to be careful. But this time we've got 15 rounds of firing, so I can just use this con constantly unless we end up with recoil problems. But for the most part, I don't think we will. We've got the uh, arm weapon mount here, giving it a bonus to hit, minus recoil, minus recoil uh, with this ballistic um, fire control system. Put the D9 cockpit and the virtual reality uh, pod in it to give it maximum evasion pips and also bonus initiative so we can go before the enemy. Um, mask system to make it a little faster. Now it's only got a 225 core, not really that fast, but it is, I mean, it's adequate for what it does and compared to the other mechs in the Lance, it's actually quite quick. So, and then we got a watchdog suite for protection. So that's all. I'm just hoping I'm covering all the stuff that I lost in the last episode, um, information wise. Everything else pretty much stays the same. Night Gear still got the four LRM 20s. Uh, which I'm not minding. The, the targeting is a little better. I think I might go back to the arrow system at some point. Uh, but right now I'm just going to run the 420s. Um, yeah, so we got to figure out what we're going to do with the Orion. Uh, maybe not today, but uh, maybe next episode. Um, I want to get into some fighting today. So let's go to uh, navigation. And we're going to jump over one system to help our friends out here. The Val, 8, uh, Val Galaxy 8th Falcon Guards. Um, uh, Boyd of Zinge and we're going to head over there and hopefully um, be able to uh, flip this planet to uh, Jade Falcon so let's make a little travel over there thank you better keep working at it see what we get ah no problem uh, so you know maybe we get something out of this um, this trip over here we need some, we need some more sea bills now between episodes, between, well, the start of the episode I attempted to do this afternoon um, and the last episode, I sold a ton of stuff and we got a lot of sea bills to fix up mechs and stuff with. Um, we had a couple of Clan XL engines left over that I sold. Um, old part, like all kinds of parts, old engines that we had multiples of I sold. Uh, at one point in time, I think we had close to 7 million sea bills. It was so much stuff that I sold. Um, we still kept a lot of the old mechs that we have. They're all in storage still. So uh, I was able to do a lot of uh, fixing up. And I think we did uh, ship upgrade wise. We got our last um, drive system, which makes it really fast for us to go between systems now. Uh, so all we need is the one, this one habitat pod and then finishing up all this other little bits here, which we'll do very shortly once we get some more sea bills in. So let's have a look at the contracts here. I want to get into some tough stuff here. Tamper proof, five skull, uh, Wolfine re research facility, recovering operatives. Um, I think we can probably do this. 
So it looks like probably going to be two lances. And then we got robbery. Uh, let's have a look just in case there's anything else here. Yeah, so if we go to uh, Hall of Fame here, there she is. Ah, man, 31 deployments, seven injuries taken, 18 kills, and 13 other kills. But, um, yeah, I still feel really sad about that. But there's not much like, you can really do. And it was just came out of nowhere. Like, it's shocking because that's, like, the first pilot I've lost in, in all the series that I've been recording. It's the first pilot I've lost. We've had plenty out for, like, numbers and numbers of days. Um, and I've had my main pilots... Um, all, like they would have been killed had they not been you know immortal basically in this game so um but yeah i never had any other pilot die and that's just you know kind of sad so um yeah let's go to the, the contracts here but let's make wolf pay for this they want to kill one of ours so let's do this we're going to take tamper proof see how it goes can always bail if it gets too tough but 625 salvage is like nice it's sweet So let's jump in here. Yeah, sure, you're going to throw that right back in my face, eh? I'm sad I didn't get that on camera because now I, don't, I, you know, I can't immortalize her death. Um, but whatever. Uh, let's get our lance in here. And we want the... We're running this guy and then this guy. So we've got Griff, Mockingbird, El Duce. Yeah. So El Duce is still getting the AC-20. Um, and everybody else is back up the way they were. Uh, I'm liking the way this lance is working now. Uh, the mission that we took... Oh, sorry, there was one other mission. I forgot. It was a capture base mission. That's where we got the Orion from. Uh, there was two Orions. Uh, an 85-ton... Um, can't remember the name of it now. And then a Stalker. Um, I don't remember the name offhand what it was. But we took those four mechs down. It was a five skull mission, uh, or a four and a half skull mission. We took those guys down and then captured the base. So, and that's where we got the uh, extra. We only picked up actually. I think it was one Orion part, or th no? I think I chose three parts. I think we got three of something salvage. I can't remember now. Sorry, there's just so, so much has gone on today. Command interface initiated. All right. Okay, I don't think I've ever done a recovery on this map before. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, it's down there. It's going to get its ass killed. Wow, well, pick them up and get out over there, eh? So really you're saying kill everybody because we can't do that. I mean, I guess if we had super really high jump capable mechs, it would be no problem. So you can see that Shadowhawk's got a pretty good movement. It didn't know like, it was twice as fast as pretty much everybody else. Yeah, it's kind of for me. It's kind of sad losing a pilot. Um, even though Satori didn't do a lot of stuff, uh, pro like do a lot of missions like these guys have, um, she's been with us pretty much from the beginning. We picked her up early in the game uh, because we needed an alternate pilot, and um, Commander. yeah, unfortunately, uh, I've got an unknown on sensors. Unfortunately, had to end early. Orion, Warhammer, Dire Star. Demos. Now there's probably going to be mechs over here too. What if we take them first? Standing by. I think maybe we do. What do we got here? Warhammer, Axel, Highlander. Missile carrier. So I think that upper edge is probably going to be easier for us to do first. Wow, you can see that far, huh? Well, we're all clans, so... As long as that's not a beef dire star... Gotta kill that missile carrier. If you ever watched the beef play, 
is uh, 10 ERPPC Dire Star. It's pretty much pull the trigger and shuts down instantly. He gets like two, <laughs> he gets like two full salvos and then his mech is destroyed. It just melts all his internals. And as he says, only the beef kills the beef. Pretty damn funny though, I gotta say, when he fires that thing. Alright, here we go. Uh, yep. Hopefully we can take it out this turn. The turn coming up, that is. Yeah. Reporting minimal damage. Yeah. Can't get any direct fire fights here. We'll just end up on the losing end of that right away. So let's get up over here. God, too much more of this and we're going to be in trouble. Is that all you've got? Don't say things like that. You know better. I know better. You know better. Well, at least he's splitting fire. <sighs> Do I want to shoot this guy or not? Most likely not. They got too many missiles. Damage minimal. Orders. Moving out. Let's hope we get this guy. Eesh. Not really gonna help that much, but it gives us a better chance to hit. Okay, looks like we penned. Oh, yeah. Makes me wish I had the uh, LRMs back on this okay. uh, Mad Cat again. It's heavy metal! I watched a Mexican wrestling match one time and one of the actual contestants was named Heavy Metal. I remember my friends my friends and I were laughing our asses off. It's like the names were so ridiculous. One of them was Heavy Metal. One guy was the Latin Lover and I don't even remember what the third guy was called. Or third person was called. Uh, let's get into here. Uh, let's multi-target this. And do that. Oh, nicely done. Okay, a hit. Hmm. 
Hmm. These guys are pretty fast. Come on. Yeah, they're pretty damn fast. I think we need to get an AMS on this guy. Yeah, we still need to get an AMS on you, man. Gonna leave the streaks off, just save a bit of heat. Okay, problem one solved. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Not if we don't hit him, we can't. Okay, he didn't move. Stop that. You know damn well I can. Okay. Damage minimal. Just waiting for orders. Let's remove some people. If we can. I think if we're going to be pulling off uh, five skull missions, we're going to definitely need to get that arrow system back on here. We can't get down that way? Oh, it's a cliff. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Get the warlord going. Cool us off, fire at everything. Okay, a couple hits. I want to move too far forward. These guys are going to get a chance to see us here. See if we can finish this guy up. Really? Smashing shit, dude. Stop smashing shit. I think we can pen that front. Damn it. Yeah, that's because they're fast, that's why. I'm here. Fire it all. Don't 
Don't know if we're going to have enough juice to do this. Like, this is our primary objective. I don't even think we can get in there. I think we should stay separated, though, so if we can get this Dire Star with his back turning. Hammer him with some Ultra 20s, maybe? I don't know. Ready for orders. On my way. Let's get rid of this guy, if we can. Blew him right off the cliff. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. I think we need more firepower over on the left, so we're going to need to shift over there. Fire. Yeah, I see that. Yep. Can we can't even get over there? We can't even get over there. Wow. Oh boy, what do we do now? Okay, so how much do you got left here? 61. Let's see if we can get it. Gotta take the chance. Going after this torso. T down to 13. We might be able to get it if we hit him hard enough. Okay, got his torso. That taste. I've been sensor locked. Most of their missiles are gone now, so Okay. We can pull this Warhammer down. We should be able to take the Highlander. But we can't get over there without actually going down. But at least we don't have to worry about being shot at from the hill here. It's heavy metal! Problem with the guys in the valley, though, is, uh coming up to the lip to be able to shoot at them. They've all got long-range, hard-hitting weapons. Yes, Commander. We gotta really worry about them hammering us. 72, 82. Let's fire on this guy. Let's get out of direct fire. My mech is overheating. Yeah, you're gonna cool off, don't worry. That's his back turned to us. I'm here. Order acknowledged. Shoot on this guy. How far can Griff get? 
we can get into the battle, finally. Let's get on this guy, firing. There goes the leg. Torso, he's pretty much done. Now, can we get a direct line of sight on the Highlander? We cannot. That's fine, though. 680 rounds. That's, see, 64 is 8 turns. Let's fire 40 on him. The other guy can't shoot at us. The Warhammer, so I'm not really so worried about using wasting my missiles on him at this moment. I'd rather be going after targets that uh, are going to be shooting on us. Hit this guy with lasers. I'm losing armor bad. Okay. Well, they're inspired. Maybe they won't be in a second. Okay, we're gonna push that CT. They've got a sensor lock on me. Crap. CT firing. Okay, he's unstable. Yeah, it kind of cheeses me off that I didn't get that uh, recorded. I came home, had to go out, pick up some dinner for everybody, and came home and went to go edit. And I'm like, why is this last not f file at 0k? And I realized I had hit record, but I hit it at the end of the actual mission. So I had a 4 hour and 20 minute recording of just my desktop. Yeah, kind of a, I don't know, I must have missed hitting record when I, was, when I started. Copy that. Critical hit. He's going down. I've been sensor locked. Orders. Sorry, there ain't gonna be nobody here to shoot at you. Uh, we don't need to warlord it. We just need to shoot this guy. How much he got left here? Thirty-nine. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we can't get over there. Well, yep. love to hang out and talk, buddy, but uh, we got shit we got to do. Copy that. Yes, Commander. Actually, can I get a shot on him from here? I can. Might as well try and finish him up as we're leaving. Yeah, lasers only. Firing. There we go. That's a kill. Receiving you. Well, he was committed. I got, I'll give him that. All right, full speed.
Oh, I wonder if we can get a get out here in time. His back is turned. I'm showing minor damage. Well, we can certainly drop some missiles on his ass. How far can you get? <sighs> really? Let's turn the left side. Because the right side's got the ultra. Let's take advantage. Oh my god, look at this. What do you think? Do we offensive push the CT? Or we just shoot? I think we go for the offensive push. See if we can get a better ch chance of taking that CT out. <gasps> one less target. You killed him in one sh- Oh my god. Dude, you're a god. Don't die. Whatever you do, don't die. That just changes the title of the battle right there. I'm here. And it just goes to show sometimes too that when you wait, hold off for Warlord. I mean, that came back right at the right moment. But when you hold off for Warlord, Sometimes you'll have it right when you absolutely have to use it and that was an absolute yes So we got lucky on that one on you know, I'm not saying that was planned that was luck But still it's like good example of why sometimes you may want to hold off using warlord right away Okay, let's get in here. I guess it doesn't really matter which torso we turn uh, More the left side we got less damage than the left So we're gonna fire on that demos been giving us some trouble. Um, yeah, let's just go with everything. Oh, the large hit. Nice. Okay, good start. So we need to pick up an arm mount. We've got a TTS. We need to pick up an arm mount um, for the night gear. If we're going to put that arrow back in. Uh, I still think it's a viable way to do it, putting that arrow back in. Uh, I'm not opposed to it. Uh, let's just pot shot him. Once we get it in, um, it definitely going to need to have as much accuracy as possible. Commander. This is just cleanup mode right now. We should be able to easily handle the rest of these guys. Ah, uh, why do I say things like that? Just shut the hell up, Bill. Just shut up. Shit up, shutting up already. Huh. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get the hell out of there. Let's get a beat on that Orion. Uh, that's the Warhammer. Let's just shoot him up. Alright. Now we can push. See if we can take this leg. Firing. Oh, two leg hits anyway. Ready for orders. I copy. Let's push the leg. There it is. Reporting critical hit. Going down. Sucks to be you. Should be able to pull that other leg off him. This guy's going to be taking a face full of missiles again.
Firing. Oh, that looked like three leg hits to me. Waiting for orders. What's up, buddy? Welcome back. Well, at least he stopped four of those missiles. Order acknowledged. Ah, not quite enough. Scored a critical hit. How do we do though? Pretty darn close, I bet. Is that the Orion? I think so. Oh, that figures. <sighs> uh huh. My mech is coming apart around me. So you got two racks? Oh, they don't like me at all. He's got two racks. That's an interesting Warhammer build. Standing by. Confirm. I think we just fire. Okay, I guess we gotta do that. Okay, I got that leg. I get some payback. Move order received. Fire. Wow. Failed to connect. Not one hit in the left leg. see what this guy can do. Maybe we can pull the other leg off him. Looks like we're going to get some good salvage out of this one. I was concerned early on. Still, I mean, this guy can still do damage. But I was definitely concerned early on. Getting banged up real good. Yeah. This guy's got one turn to live, I think. See if we can do this. Yes, Commander. Order acknowledged. That's still a huge chunk left.
Fuck it, just kill him. So frustrating. Alright, let's see if we can get it down there with this guy fast enough. Alright. Ready for orders. So my goal so far I think for the series will be to get another third lance up and running. Not quite yet though. I, th I think um, the second lance um, is actually running pr pretty well. It's basically the same mechs as we had in the first first lance. The two storm crows, the two uh, novas. They're inspired, are they? Looking out. Waiting for orders. I think we go this way. The ramp's probably a little closer. We get down that way. Reading you. I don't think we can. Double time. Let's go. The secondary acid is in hand and ready for retrieval. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Let's move. Yeah, I gotta go back this way. Oh well, no big deal. At least we don't have to to uh, get to the drop site. Probably one more turn, maybe two more turns. Yes, Commander. Copy that. Yep. No shooting, just running. Got it. No point in going anywhere. Engaging coolant system. Yeah, there we go. All right. That is it. The asset has been secured and is ready for retrieval. Alright, there we go. Contract payment increased by 30%. And Timberwolf took a little damage. I don't think we took any internal component damage. Uh, or destruction, that is. We did take some damage. I knew we took a few hits on the internals here. Looks like it's just a medium laser, I guess, eh? Thought there was more, but I guess not. Okay. Night Gear doing some good kills here. Alright, so we got Orion 2C. I know we don't we have very many parts of that left. Warhammer parts, clan AMS. ER largest, we got two still left. ER PPCs, we got four. Wow, look at them all. Gauss rifle triple plus. Hmm, clan's a little better, I think. Um uh, what else? Rotary AC5 Plus Clan. I've never seen a Plus Clan model before. What's the bonus? Two recoil, three jam. Let's take both of those. Got lots of endo. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. There's some dollars right there. Exchangers, we picked up. Yeah, we picked up an exchanger and a heat bank um, as well. In the last, uh, well, the episode that I didn't record. What else do we got down here? I want that. Going to stay away from the mech parts, I think. I think we still have one of these. Weapon mount, there's one of the things we're looking for. Um... And we do have one of these, right? Yes, we don't need that. Watchdog Suite's nice because it gives you the plus one defense. Uh, let's drop that in as well. Don't think there's anything else. How much Rack 5 ammo do we have? Six tons. I think, uh, is that okay? Um, with two Rack 5s, I don't know if it's fine, but we're not really going to have a Rack 5 build for a little bit, I think. We may want to try and put one of them on the uh, Orion, maybe? I don't know. Alright, let's go this route. I think that's some pretty good stuff. And we'll see what we get out of this. Okay, we got a Demos, Highlander, two Warhammer pieces, bunch of ERPPCs. Holy crap. 
That's a lot. Lerms. Uh, we got a core, engine core. Nice. Uh, and some ammo. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. So, hey, we took Tathis from Wolf. That's where we're at now. Nice. 400,000 in repairs. Yeah, 32 days. That's not so bad, though, considering it was a five-skull mission and we were against, what, two vehicles and... They weren't all assault. We had, what, two... Three heavy mechs and three assault mechs? Three and three? I think so. So that wasn't too bad. Not too bad. So, uh, let's see here. So if we're going to redo the Orion... Let's have a look at it right now. Um, there was a bunch of stuff that we still had on here. Like, we saved... We were able to save a lot of the stuff that was on here. Um, which is great. So if we do this... Just interested to see what that rack five would give us. Um, so the new rack five, all the way down here, because we got so much shiz now. Um, here we go. See, I've never seen a rack five plus. Jam multiplier is lower, and the recoil is lower, and the weight should be the same. Yes. Yeah. So we could go that route. We'd have to drop some stuff. Like we don't need all the double heat sinks then. If we go with two rack fives. Leave the TTS weapons in. Right, and then we could grab... Where's the rotary ammo here? Ultra ammo, LBX, rack 5 ammo. So let's just do this, just for the sake of argument for a second. And let's check the store if there's any more. Probably not. Wouldn't get that lucky, I don't think. Ah! Speak of the devil. Okay, having that extra time to think will be handy. Is there anything else interesting here? Sometimes we end up picking up some good stuff. Now we're going to have lots of C-bills once we sell that triple X uh, or double XL core. Yeah, not a lot. Half ton of AMS ammo. Let's buy that. New okay, so let's drop... Uh, where's the rack ammo? We just, was it rack or was it the ultra that we bought? It was rack, wasn't it? Did, oh yeah, there it is. This will give us far more firepower. Uh, let's go down, like this is worth 20 million, so it's like, you know, two and a half, no, almost three million to sell or something like that. It's pretty good. Um, don't need anything for heat. I mean, we could drop the weight of the engine. We don't have to be that act, that, um, well, we want to save that for the aero system. The gyro, let's add the defense gyro. Oh, I mean, we could go with an ultralight so we can get more stuff in here. Or extra light, that is. That gives us a bit more space. We need case. Uh, we have a guardian in here right now. Let's put the Nova in. Um, we want clan case two. Uh, I wonder if I should split the ammo up on both sides. Uh, okay, so we got cockpit and sensors available. Let's move this down into the CT. We could put, I think enhanced imaging really is the best way to go. Uh, we got two recoil. Um, there's no other way to mitigate that, is there? We have, yeah, we don't got any more amazing ballistic, uh, fire control systems. We're starting to get low on fire control systems. I haven't been picking them up lately. 
This is the bigger one. Range and recoil. It's not giving me plus one accuracy though. Improved cold shot modifier. Increased range, lower minimum range. Um, zoom gives accuracy bonus of a three that grows with range every 270 meters. Uh, accuracy bonus of one for overheating targets for each threshold, maximum of plus five. Um, the called shot modifier is really good though. It is giving us minus one recoil too, right? So I can't drop it in while this is here. But if we pull this out, well, the, the improved doesn't give us the recoil compensation, does it? But it gives us everything else, so let's leave that in because uh, this will give us the plus one accuracy. Uh, what else do we have here? Like I said, we could lower the core slightly. I don't know if I want to do that. What's the the heat on this is 12. So we still got, we might be able to pull out the plus one cooling um, if we need weight. We got two and a half tons left. I'm thinking we should probably um, I want to go defense against you know what? Let's look here. We have laser AMS. Regular AMS. Um, we can overload it. Uh, not bad. Fire 15 shots, one heat per shot. Light tag, that's a possibility. Let's just put it in for now. We can always take it out. Let's put it on this side. Um, advanced AMS. Just a little better. It's three tons though. Wow. AMS half load. Huh. I almost feel like we need some backup weapons on this thing. Case of jams. Like if we put an ER medium on each arm or something. Let's do this so we can get this repaired. That's pretty good heat sinking. Um, I'm really tempted to try this. We need to get another arm mount though. Lower arm. Don't have enough recoil compensation unfortunately. So we're going to have to expect jams. Yeah, so let's go this route. Let's confirm this and see how it does. And now I also think we have the stuff we need to refit the uh, aero system back on the night gear. I got the TTS and everything now, so let's maybe do that too. Um, let's have a look at the star map here. So I'm not going to take any more missions this episode. Yeah, we flipped it. Just barely though. Um... Looks like the wolves are circling. Let's just do this here. Let's get the mechs ready to go. Uh, manage the task. So the night gear is up first, nine days. Timberwolf's 14, eh? Let's get the Orion up. Uh, let's sell stuff here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get these up and running. I'll get the night arrow system back in the night gear. Um, I think for heavier mechs, Heavy and assault mechs, we definitely need that big pinpoint heavy damage. But now that we got that um, 
the arm mount and stuff. We should be able to get a better loadout on this guy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, financial report in 12. We should be back. Well, we won't be back in time for that. Yeah, so we'll be going through the financial report. So I'll sell some stuff off between episodes, get everything up, ready to go. I'll show you next time when we get ready to, to play. Um, yeah, and then hopefully um, we can take on some more harder missions, bring in the Orion as the main mech, leave the uh, gorilla behind, and see how it goes. All right, so uh, if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.